Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Mal Williams here at the Coburg Road location of Marathon Coach. Apologies for the uh, delay in our uh, live uh, broadcast this morning. We wanted to uh, make sure that everything was uh, ready and set up for this morning. And we had a couple of things going on with that. So here we are, a little bit late, but uh, Marathon Mondays. Good morning to all of you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions while you're watching, uh, please let us know right there on Facebook. Or you can email me, malw at marathoncoach.com. And uh, feel free to check in with us um, at any time uh, while you're watching uh, on Facebook. Let us know where you're watching from and if you have any questions or comments. Here's what we're doing this morning. Uh, 1151 is a coach that we profiled. It's an H3 double slide. And uh, we profiled it a couple of months ago. Wanted to revisit it uh, because it's such a great value. And lately we've been talking on Marathon Mondays about... Boy, it's cold out here, isn't it? Goodness sakes. Sorry, but it is. It's Coburg, Oregon. Here's the deal. We've talked lately about holding value and the fact that marathons hold their value so well. 1151 is a really great example of that. So we're going to go through it, check it out. Let's give a couple of stats before we move forward. It's a 2008 Marathon Coach 1151. It's an H3 double slide. It's got 62,000 miles. That's really low. The Prevo chassis, the manufacturer says the break-in point, and we know this because we've talked to Prevo, we've talked to Dave Bash, you guys know it. The break-in point for a um, Prevo chassis, a marathon coach, is around 60,000 miles. This guy is just broken in at 62,000. So 1151 right now is up for 699. And $699,000, that's how much we have it listed at. And it's got brand new tires and brand new batteries. Those are the big ones, and it already has it taken care of. So before we step inside and take another look at 1151, I wanted to uh, take a look at these two storage bays because it's got a really nice conversion with a barbecue. So let's check it out. Storage bay number one. Really nice uh, storage. Got a couple of things that are sitting in there right now, but you know the H has great storage. Now let's look at this. I absolutely love this. You've got a refrigerator on this side, and you see in the back of the slide out, it's got, um, those, are the, those are so that you can convert the um, dinette into uh, more seating. So that's what those are. Let's look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's a good sized barbecue with storage underneath. Fully electric. An outlet here so you could have coffee out here. Anything else you want to plug in. Lots of storage here. And this entire unit comes out on a slide and goes back in. Look at that, just like that. All right, I think we had a little bit of uh, trying to reconnect there live on Facebook. But if you're still with us, thank you. We're gonna head in and check out 1151. Beautiful paint here. Also on the patio side, it's got patio lights. So you can really create a really nice ambiance. It's got the Gerard awning package. So it's just a, it's a beautiful situation here on the curbside. Let's head on inside. Right away, Sarah wanted to make sure that we pointed out the beautiful carbon fiber stylings. Here in the cockpit area, you'll see the two-tone leather. Two-tone leather in the driver's seat also. And carbon fiber all the way up here. And then here we are standing in the salon. Now let's talk about the salon. So let, actually, let's just kind of give you the, the, the situation here. This coach is very versatile. It sleeps several people. It's got the king bed in the back. It's got double bunks in the midsection. And then here in the salon, you've got two fabric sleeper sofas 
These go down easily to sleep. Grandkids, adults, lots of room. What am I, six foot? Let's take a look. Six foot. Six foot on a good day, I'm six two. Ah, lots of room, very comfortable. So you got storage back here on each one, storage on the other one also, and underneath, a little bit of storage too. See down there? Goes right back in to a sofa. You've got two of those in 1151. You can sleep a lot of people right here in this double slide coach. So you've got, um, We've got it covered with plastic right now, but you've got a, a really nice carpeting here, and then you go into a tile floor that goes all the way down uh, through the bunk area into the bedroom. So let's let's look at uh, let's look at the galley here. So Fisher Pikel dishwasher. You got the Advantium 120 from GE Profile. Pretty standard in a marathon coach, tried and true. It is one of the best convection microwave ovens uh, on the market, and that's why you're going to find them in marathon coaches. Uh, this is a Maytag side-by-side, -side, residential size, so you've got a, a lot of size. And the reason that you want a lot of a, a, a good size refrigerator in a coach like this is because you've got, uh, this is really geared for a family uh, or someone who wants to entertain their grandchildren from time to time. You know, we've got a lot of couples that are interested in a coach like this, and they have the grandkids come every once in a while. You can sleep a lot of people in here. Um, let's look at this real quick before we head back to the bunks. Like I said, outside, this converts so you can you can actually comfortably get six in here, maybe a few more, but it does. You drop the leaf in. These guys pull out, and you've got cushions that fit right in there. Storage up top. Storage here, lots of storage down here. Here's your pull out pantry. You got it here and at the bottom. Now let's check out the bunks. Good size bunks up here. Um, both, both bunks have audio visual in them and air conditioning and outlets, which is really nice. These are the Alpine uh, monitors, so you can uh, watch TV, you can hook up your iPad, you can um, charge your phone from inside the bunks. These, these things uh, close right up into the top of the berths. Underneath here, you got lots of storage. You got three really deep drawers. These are really nice. You can store uh, clothing or shoes or whatever you need. Um, also, you could use them for towels because right across the hallway from the bunks is the full bath. So you've got a really good sized shower, you got a sink and vanity and your toilet right there. And everything is on a pocket, pocket doors. Thing, the really good thing about pocket doors is you can leave them open. And you see we're not standing necessarily in a hallway, we're standing in a room because we have the pocket doors open. But for the people that are sleeping in these bunks, you can completely close off this hallway and have privacy for the people that are sleeping in the bunks or privacy for who those are in the salon or in the bedroom behind me. You got a pocket door behind the camera there. You got pocket door right here, pocket door here, and then these berths have curtains that close in front of them. So that's really nice. Uh, right behind this glass wall, You've got the ASCOs um, washer dryer stacking, which is nice, made in Sweden. There they are. A lot of you are familiar with the ASCOs. It's a great brand. Let's move into the bedroom. So this this uh, coach has sharp TVs throughout, and it does have the Crestron system. Uh, you've got a walk-in closet here in the back also on a pocket door. You've got your audio visual on the left hand side and then you've got a um, a bar for hanging clothing up here. 
you can either have it open to add extra dimension to your coach or as we're going to do right there, close it up. Good size bed right here in the rear slide. This coach throughout has a beautiful laminate that is really going to hold up. It's a 2008 coach, so we're coming up on nine years of this guy, almost 10 years old, and this coach is in amazing condition. Lots of storage above the bed, storage on the side of the bed, and in front here, you got lots of area, and here is the sink uh, vanity that is in the um, bedroom. So let's move back towards the front of the coach and answer any questions that we have. Do we have any questions so far this morning? We have lots of comments. Good morning from Sacramento, California, where it's sunny and warm. Sunny and warm in Sacramento. Um, Robert Joyce says Virginia Beach, Virginia, checking in. Good morning, Robert. Virginia Frank. Beach, I like it. Frank says hello from Ohio. Is that Frank Day? That is. Frank Day, good morning, my man. Good to hear from you. Thank Hello, you for Mom. watching. Cartwright, say hey from Tennessee. Hey, hey, Tennessee. Sandy Evans says there's nothing better than a marathon. She loves theirs. You should ask her about her dog, Katie Bug. Oh, Katie Bug, the dog. What kind of dog is Katie Bug? The cutest thing ever. Oh, my goodness. You can That's see great. her on our blog. And then, let's see, Robert asks, is there a process of taking care of the paint job? Yeah, there is a process for taking care of the paint job. Good question, Robert. Um, there's several different ways you can go about it. You can learn how to do it yourself, or you can hire someone to do it. The paint job on a marathon coach is, uh, you know, it's got that, it's one of the most important aspects of the coach because it's what everyone sees from the exterior. Not everyone gets the opportunity to come into a marathon coach and see it. But the exterior gets seen by a lot of people. Taking care of the paint is a big part of not only the, the side profile, the front profile of the coach, but also let's talk about resale. It's important to take care of the paint because quite frankly, that's what draws you in is that initial look at the coach from the outside and the paint job. So you can either hire someone or learn how to do it yourself. Um, you know, just simply washing a coach and taking care of it uh, really goes a long ways to adding to the longevity of the product. Any other comments or questions before uh, we move forward? Sandy wanted to let you know that Katie is a rough-coated Brussels Griffon who is also a marathon lover. Ah. And K. Rob said he's saying hello from Mobile, Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. Good morning. On Mondays, and Kelly says hello from Alto, New Mexico. Good morning to New Mexico. Wow, so we've been all over the country. Thank you so much to all of you for watching Marathon Mondays over the last several months. We really enjoy bringing it to you, and we're trying to uh, spread our wings, if you will, and go to different locations and take coaches to different places. This morning, I want to give a little recap for those of you who were not watching at the beginning. We are checking out 1151. Marathon Coach 1151 is a 2008 H3 double slide. It's uh, it's right now retailing at six ninety nine six hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars. It's a great value with only sixty two thousand miles, and it's got new batteries and tires. This is a bunk coach. It sleeps four grandkids in the front. Let's just say two adults on the sleeper sofas up front. It's got two here and then two on the king size bed behind the camera there. So you've got six people comfortably in this coach, and. If you're not using it, uh, if you're not using the bunks for sleepers, you can always use them for storage. Uh, lot, dogs like them too. Dogs like them too. Uh, a lot of people laugh at me saying that, but you know we've got these big dogs. Sometimes big dogs need to sleep on big bunks. <laughs> so let's uh, move to the front of the coach again. What else can I show you before we get out of here on Monday morning? Hope everyone has a good Monday. I had a good weekend, did a lot of stuff around the house, and uh, we also had uh, Oregon volleyball matches here at Matthew Knight Arena in the Eugene area. The uh, let's let's talk about this. So the Crestron system is set up throughout the coach. That's a really nice thing because one thing you can do is you can control the lights and you can control the audio visual right here from this guy right here. Now, I want to show you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
if I can do it, if I can find the right buttons here, I am going to show you what we call theater mode. Now theater mode, theater mode, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw you back over here before we go with it. Theater mode in a marathon coach is an example of our engineers thinking outside the box. About 10 years ago, they decided to sync up with one button, the audio visual, all the blinds from the galley forward, and all the lighting. So with the push of one button on your Crestron tablet or on your iPad, whichever system you have in your coach, you can hit theater mode. Theater mode is right there in the salon. Theater start, you'll see and hear right away. All the blinds automatically come down, the lights dim, and the TV right in front of you comes down. This is a really nice way to close up the coach for the night. We're about to get dark here. It's also a really nice way for you to uh, watch a movie, to watch TV. And we're going to go back to the salon and we're going to hit theater end. And boom, there was light. Once again, it just reverses the system. And of course you can manually do all of these blinds and all of the lights and the television by itself. But the theater mode syncs it all together and it's one of my favorite aspects. It's just an example of what our engineers have set up in this 2008 uh, Marathon Coach 1151. There's also a TV right here so when you're in motion uh, those that are, not, um, that are not driving or not up in the cockpit uh, can take a look at that. So before we uh, take off and, and start our Monday morning here at Marathon Coach, uh, is there any other comments or questions, Mickey, that came through? Colin and Caroline Abbott say hello from Eastern Ontario where it's pouring rain but it's warm. And Colin say, and Caroline. This is a beautiful used coach. Reginald, of course, is tuning in from Las Vegas. Reginald, good morning. Always good to hear from you in Las Vegas. He does want to know what warranties are offered with the resale coaches and new coaches. Absolutely. So new coaches, there is a warranty. Let's talk about the pre-owned. Pre-owned or like this, which is a consignment coach. Consignment coaches do not have warranties with Marathon. However, what we do have is we do, and as you guys have, have seen many times, we do a very vigorous three-day inspection it's uh, our pre-delivery inspection with Dave Bash. Each coach, we have a complete understanding of where it is and what needs to be done to it. The, um, this coach has brand new batteries and brand new tires. Those are the two big ones. And then we also have a few minor details of things that might need to be addressed in the future. But that's one thing about um, buying a pre-owned coach with Marathon is that we put it through a really large inspection so that there's a complete understanding uh, to the next owner, the next Marathon family member who is going to purchase it. As far as a warranty, let's, uh, let's answer that question directly. There is no warranty except you do have the option to purchase a third party aftermarket warranty. You do have that option. And they can learn more about the certified pre-owns on our website. Absolutely. And we do have certified pre-owns uh, that are not consignments that Marathon owns. So if you're, if you, if that is something that you uh, absolutely have to have, um, it is something that we can address. And then Phil wants to know if Marathon's ever configured a coach with a screen door in the front entry. Well, not to my knowledge. Uh, if that's Phil that's asking that mm -hmm. question. Phil's asking if we can uh, fix a screen door. I'm sure we can, and I'm sure we've come up with uh, many ways. The Prevo chassis isn't necessarily set up so that you can put a screen door on there, but there's probably some way where uh, you can have a screen door or some sort of fixture put in there so that you can keep bugs out and your entry door open if that's what you choose to do. So we can look into that. Um, I'm sure our engineers have come up with many ideas behind that idea over the over 30 plus years. Any other thoughts before we uh, jump out of 1151? Thank you so much for joining Marathon Mondays with Mal. Don't forget, M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com is where you can reach me. Um, Marathon's got locations in Florida, Texas, and headquarters here in Oregon. Uh, wherever you are in the United States, we'll take care of you. 
So feel free to comment right there on Facebook or YouTube. It'll be up on YouTube later today. Or email me direct if you have any comments or questions. 1151 is a great value and a beautiful coach. If you have any questions on this coach, you know where to get a hold of me. Thanks for watching and have a good Monday, everybody. See you next week.